welcome back guys. So today I'm going to show you just a simple little snack that we're going to make for the babies. It's a pre-snack snack. Ready Clea? Gypsy. Gypsy. Hop. Good girl. So I had <laughs> some leftover ground chuck from dinner last night. So I decided that I'm going to make the dogs a little hamburger snack today. So a couple things before I get started with this. For the people that are going to come after me and say just feed it to them raw, I have my reasons not feeding raw. We guess we do do raw eggs and some things like that. So you know what, I you do you and I do me and that sounded weird, but <laughs> we all have our reasons for doing things. So these are just, it's just plain ground chuck. Um, you know, everything I've ever researched, the leaner the better. This is 80-20. This will still be fine for them to eat, but if you can get leaner meats, that's better, according to all the things on the interwebs and books and stuff I've read, but this will be fine for them. And also, another little disclaimer, I guess, not all dogs are going to be able to eat this. So for my vet techs that are going to come after me and say stuff like, oh, you're going to give your dog's pancreatitis and all this other stuff, yes, there's always a risk when you give your dog greasier foods, such as bacon or, you know, greasy beef or whatever, that they can get pancreatitis. Um, there's all sorts of things that your dogs can get. But my babies do pretty good on this stuff. I've never had any problems yet. Fingers crossed I still don't have any problems, so we're making them a hamburger snack. And we're not doing nothing fancy today. I'm not adding any supplements to the meat. I'm not adding any herbs or anything. It's just going to be the hamburgers, and I'm going to add some Honest Kitchen topper to it at the end once it cools off. Just to give it some, you know... Make it a little fancy for him. Clea, honey, you can come in and join the crew. Yes, you can. <laughs> You're like, I don't want to. See, he's still stalking me. We're still having a piff, huh? See, he's still having a piff. We want you included. Yes, we do. We always want Clea included. <laughs> yes. Thank you for snooting the camera. <laughs> he is so ready for this. So ready for this. You got to wait. You got to wait. Okay. It'll happen. It will. And you're going to love it. <laughs> he almost looks like he's about to speak to me. You going to speak to Mama? You going to tell me how much you want those hamburgers? No? Maybe I'd give all the hamburgers to Clea? <laughs> Why are you whining? Why are you whining? You will have your hamburger. <laughs> you have to be patient. You know what patience is? Say sort of. Don't worry, you'll have a hamburger and we'll give you fake bacon. Which is a bacon strip because mommy went ahead and got junk food treats. Because sometimes you need junk food. Ain't that right? Some, yeah. Sometimes we need the junk food. <laughs> yeah, that's for you, Woo Woo. Just go wait till the pan heats up. Just stay away from the, the pan. Don't get too close. The only one actually being patient who's <laughs> behind me. <laughs> You're such a good girl. Yes, you are such a good girl. <laughs> Look at that smile. So, I know another thing. Some people will use vegetable oil cooking for their dogs. Um, I use that very sparingly for every do. I'm not using any oils here, just cooking it the way it is. Um, I'm sure you could use probably, you know, the coconut oil or whatever home cooked dog food oil you want to use to cook these things, but the, they're going to have plenty of juice coming out of this, so I don't need to use any on this recipe. Not that this really is a recipe, it's just a snack, but you know what I mean. See, there's plenty, plenty of juice. <laughs> I don't need to add any oil to cook this at all. Wait, wait. You smelling it? You smelling it? Oh, I shouldn't teach you that. Here, you can. Yeah, pre pre lick the plate. There you go. Willow. You can lick some of that too, or not. Since Mr. Man is a piglet, <laughs> you're a piglet. And now that they are finished, I'm going to let them. Drain. 
all the grease off of those and uh, those. I don't know why I said that weird. And uh, we're going to make sure they're completely cool before we, you know, dress them up for the babies because you don't give your puppies very hot food. Very hot food is bad for Tum Tums. Okay, so we've got some cooled off hamburgers that are degreased here. Mr. Man's ready. None for you, cat. No, you have you have to wait. No. Off. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> You're no better. You're no better. Clea is <laughs> patiently just chilling here. Okay. No. No. Stay there. Okay. Mr. Man. Off. Thank you, sir. All right. Drizzle. <laughs> off. <laughs> Both of you off, please. I know you're excited, but you have to wait. Mr. Man. Gypsy. Should we try to drizzle it like fancy restaurants? No, that looks like crap. And it already looks like crap, so we're just going to add some more crap to it because we are not fancy YouTubers here. <laughs> we are just whatever the dogs want. <laughs> so yeah, little hamburger snacks with gravy and crap on it. It looks like crap, but they're going to love it. They're going to love it. All right, get down. Get down. I know you're excited. I mean, off. I said the wrong command. Sally, go to your spot. Go to your spot. This is for the girls. All right, Sully. Hold, nope. <laughs> Hold on, buddy. Hold on, because you're going to gobble this up in like five seconds. Chew, sir, chew. He's like, no, I vacuum it. <laughs> oh, you like that, huh, Clea? <laughs> See, I shall help everybody clean their plates. Good guys. <laughs> I think my girls actually gobbled it up pretty quick too. There's no more gypsy. <laughs> so we have to check and be sure. <laughs> Full of energy. Full of energy because we had hamburgers. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> and just remember, when you're starting to home cook for your dogs, I know a lot of people get freaked out by it, keep it simple. Start off with small snacks, see what foods they can tolerate. I mean, you can start off small. You don't have to go full blown out meals. I used to cook a lot of full meals for them. I don't do that as much these days because um, the price of meat has just gone up. We're trying to figure out how to get back into budgeting that eventually, but you know, just having a little extra from our food and giving it to them. I mean, heck, that boy back there actually eats romaine lettuce every time I have a salad, which surprises me, but okay, Gypsy, let's get the ball away from the poop. But you can start off with just small little things like that, you know, try carrots, try green beans, you know, boiled chicken, and actually just boiled chicken with some veggies. Some steamed veg veggies can be a meal that you can mix with, uh, you know, um, their kibble, things like that. Sorry, I was trying to watch where the, the poop was. Um, but yeah, and start off small, do little snacks, add an, you know, an egg for breakfast, raw or, you know, slightly cooked. You don't have to cook in any oil, you can just, you know, yeah. Yeah, they'll be happy with any little thing we give them. <laughs> 
and the most I expect to happen from this little snack is maybe some farts, but you know, so yeah, just some farts, especially from you, Miss Toot Toot. You fart worse than Sully. You do. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.